buy more control wards consistently, your CS numbers are really low in a lot of these games. You are having around somewhere between 4 and 6 CS per minute when laning. It's around 4 to 5 when jungling. That makes it clear to me that you are not being efficient enough. Value camps, value waves when you're laning. Don't waste too much time over forcing plays. Listen to these few pieces of advice and then I think you're going to be good to go. And also, if you ever need some assistance looking into builds, runes and whatnot, my good old friends at Facecheck has this glorious app right here that will open whenever you're in queue, whenever you're in champ select. And in just a moment, I will show it to you right now, in just a moment, when I log in a champion face check, will give me a recommended build as well as runes for that champ. Meaning, that's going to be pretty straightforward. Now, that champion, I think should be Belveth if we're already having a Mordecai as a top, assuming our mid laner could be an AP. I can see the mid laners most played recently are Sundra and Akali. I really think we should go Belveth then. So I lock in Belveth and then we... Wait, it's trolling me. I can either go pro builds, so these are builds used by pro players, I can click here. And it tells me what to max, what runes to go, what to build. And I can even press this magical button if I want to. I can pr press push runes and just like that, the runes appear right here on my client. Easy peasy. Good luck on the climb, Dave. We got this. These are the Belveth runes that I want to go for this game. My standard ones. If they have champs with a little CC, I could consider going to Nasty, but it shouldn't be needed in this case. Hopefully no one dodges. I'm so ready to play some Belveth! Come on, don't dodge! Don't do it. Please no dodges. Please. Yes, we're gaming. What do you mean? It is time to shine! Up against Mr. Hecarim. I'm gonna watch his red so we have some vision on him and we can know what path he's going for and what he's up to this game. I don't think top lane is gonna be very gankable with Mordekaiser into Camille matchup, so I'm gonna start blue. I'll do blue crumb wolves into bot side. Probably gonna go for a full clan, then we're gonna look for the bot crab. Monsieur Gore, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Welcome to the curling club. Enjoy that smurf emote as viewers. Lloyd Drakeborn. Welcome on board as well. Appreciate it. Okay. Focus up. We need a good jungle clear here. Quick and efficient. Let's make it happen. Here we go. Here we go. Grimm is starting both sides. Let's keep an eye out for him. See when we get some info. But he's most likely just gonna full clear. Yeah, he's just full clearing. Basically doing the same path as me. Drop this to 400, then we press E to burn it down. There it is. I'm having a hard time finishing my jungle clear before 315 now, after the E cooldown was increased to 2 seconds. That's making quite a difference, but 318 should do as well. It's not too bad. Waiting for my W, there it is. Awesome. 
I'm going to take this plant and I'll drop a ward in the jungle. Now, with the information that this ward provides us, we're going to know Hecarim's path, because he should be basing soon after killing our Mordekaiser. And then he's going to show now what what bot lane then will have information on him if he goes for a gank. And I can know for sure what kind of misbehaving he's up to. Sire Blue and Sabi Maru, thank you so much for the Twitch Primes and JB, thank you for the gift of sub. I saw a few of you in chat complaining that you were not able to join in on dropping the Smurf emote in chat because it's a subscriber only emote. If you guys would like, we can all unite and we can all spam an emote in chat that everyone has access to. A good old favorite of mine. An emote that was being spammed in Twitch chat all over the place. The first time my face was shown in the LEC or ULCS as it was called back then. Let's all unite and drop a smoke in the charts. Get the org in there. Ooh, Hecarim is kind of killing. Good counter gank with Silas. Very nice counter gank. This should be killable. This Oriana is extremely overextended. She's gonna flash into it. Oh, she's too clean. She's too good at this video game. I tried. I tried. Sky Pink Prom is coming mid. I hope I can still get this. Hecarim could move as well soon. I'll just smite this. We could look mid again soon, probably. Oh, they're going Raptors. Unless they gank mid. Yeah, they're ganking him. I would like Carmen to stay, but she wants to walk through bot, that's fine. Then we can take over River through bot instead. I'm gonna plant over. 10 seconds on my E, I'm not that strong without it. Hecarim just wastes his E too though, so we're fine. This should be free. Hopefully Varus is okay. A little bit low. Okay, he is not okay. We need to push the out, so the wave bounces. Caitlyn is going to lose most of this, but Hecarim is probably going to take it, so he's going to become a big boy. Herald is spawning in 20 seconds. We need to be ready for that. Herald is always very important in Belveth. I'll check that red first. Might even be able to look for mid if Orianna walks up. Oh, there's a Hecarim here. I mistimed it. Half a second too early. It's okay, still got it. If we can get one successful gank top, I think Mordekaiser should be beating Camilla for the rest of the game. I'm thinking of doing Herald and then ganking her. Mordekaiser is basing, so we're not gonna look top for now. I think it would be a great timing to gank top, because Hecarim is bot side. He's probably clearing my bot jungle right now, even. Let's go Silas. Nope, she flashed. I'm gonna play aggressive down here with Karma, so mid and bot can both go ham. Might be able to kill Hecarim too. I got him. Could have considered giving the kills a virus, but I want some kills so I can carry. Oh, she's dead. See you in heaven, kid. Yo, Silas, are we not fighting? No, we're fighting. That took a little while. Better late than never. She has no flash. Keeps dying when you want. What on earth is he doing down there? 
I don't know why he keeps fighting her. He can just farm safely. I guess he's getting bored. But I might be able to kill Hacker in the top side. No, my Q didn't damage him. No, why didn't it damage him? I would have killed him. He was dead. I flashed under him, queued up, but then the damage didn't go off. Okay, I guess I died in the same second. Oh, that's so unlucky. I wanted to kill him to take the coral and heal, but... <laughs> no, shouldn't have gone for red. It was so greedy. That's on me. <laughs> it's my fault. Oh, Kekrim is fed now. That was a big shot down. God damn it. I love how Silas and Herald for mid. That mid turret has 400 health. Surely I'm not gonna Herald just for that. Might be able to use it for the tier 2 though. We'll see what happens. I'm not sure if fighting without Silas is that great of an idea. Mordecai has ult. He can ult anyone. He ult his Camille. I probably would have chosen Braum if I was him, but whatever floats his boat. See, this is why I would have went for Braum. He couldn't really kill her. So the fight got really messy. If he took Braum, it would be a free kill, and then we could turn on the two others afterwards. It's okay though. It's all good. We get a lot here, how Herald and go tier 2. I don't know why I eat the... That was pointless. Oh, they're actually coming. Let's go, pressure with the team. Oh, there I can't move. I need my ear up before going deep here. I might actually be in trouble if I'm not careful. Mordecai is as tanky. We can't really reach them. Finally. Perfect. Baron didn't even spawn yet. Oops. <laughs> I think we let them kill Varys or what's not happening. We are all ready to appeal for him. We can go Baron. Once we get that, the game should be over. I can just split push and end. Easy game. Some Belveth magic look like the pop pop is on the way everyone. I will build a big wave slowly. As long as we see most of the mid, I can go ham here. Right, that's a big mid fight. I'm gonna commit to the split push. I got an army now, but it looks like my team is dying. I'm not sure why these guys are trying to go for superhero plays, when in reality all they have to do is play safe and not die. Then I win the game for us with Baron. No, but they refuse to listen to me. Why is he here? I said four mid and this guy is buffed for no reason. Oh, my Void Crawl didn't run out. It's still active. 
Barely killed just in time. Oh, I didn't pop my elixir. Oh my god. I forgot. Oops. GG. Pleasure doing business with you all. Now give me my pencil kill. Come back. I need the pencil here. It's a pencil angle. Okay. What the hell did I just do? I don't even deserve a pencil right now. I do not deserve that pencil. I deserve a gray screen. And that's what I get. My lord. Holy moly. They're running it even harder than me. Welcome to the club, friends. Okay, everything is under control. Somehow no one's dead yet. Mordekaiser is going in deep though. Okay, Mordekaiser is running it down. They're getting so much fun from these inhibs, by the way. Well, Hecarim is no old, he can't get into the pit in time if we hurry up here. Orana's in base. Caitlyn dead. It's GG. Come back. Oh, she failed the E. I'm kind of missing my abilities too, though. Come here, kids. No, but I can't land W on anyone anymore. What's happening? Come here. There we go. G to the G. 